On August 14, 2016, Wade Van Nieker completely obliterated the world record for the men's 400 meters. Running from lane 8, Van Nieker ran a time of 43.03 seconds, bettering Michael Johnson's previous world record mark of 43.18 seconds. This incredible performance made Van Nieker the only male athlete in history to win an Olympic gold medal in the 400 meters from lane 8. This stunning victory marked the first time in almost 17 years that the 400 meter world record had been broken, and Van Niekerk's 43.03 second performance made the 42 second mark for the 400 meters feel all the more possible. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at Wade Van Niekerk's running career, and we'll be analyzing exactly what he did in order to run this earth-shattering 400 meter world record. Wade Van Niekerk was born on July 15, 1992, in Cape Town, South Africa. Even as a young child, Van Niekerk's parents recognized that he had huge potential with running. At the young age of 18, Van Niekerk made his first international appearance at the 2010 World Junior Championships, where he placed fourth in the 200-meter dash with a time of 21.02 seconds. Just one year later, at the 2011 South African National Championships, Van Niekerk would go on to place first in the 200 meters with a new personal best time of 20.57 seconds. These two outstanding performances showcased Van Niekerk's talents in the 200 meters, and at just 19 years of age, the future looked very bright for this South African sprinter. However, moving forward, Van Niekerk would shift his focus away from the 200 meters as he would quickly discover his incredible abilities in the 400 meters. In 2012, Van Niekerk ran a time of 46.43 seconds in the 400 meters, and considering that this was one of his first 400 meter races ever, his potential for improvement was obvious. In 2013, Van Niekerk would establish himself as one of the greatest 400 meter runners in the world. Still just 20 years of age, Van Niekerk would improve his 400 meter personal best to 45.09 seconds. This performance made him the 18th fastest 400 meter runner in the world for 2013. However, Van Niekerk was just getting started. Moving into 2014, Van Niekerk would win the South African National Championships with a new personal best of 44.92 seconds. At the time, this made him the fastest 400 meter runner in the world. With this new sub 45 second performance, Van Niekerk entered the 2014 New York Diamond League 400 meter dash with a new level of confidence. This was a brand new experience for Van Niekerk, who would now be competing against the best runners in the world. After a quick opening 200 meters, Van Niekerk, who was running solo out in lane 8, found himself firmly in the lead. Over the final 100 meters, LaShawn Merritt of the United States, who was the 2008 Olympic gold medalist over the 400 meters, slowly but confidently passed Van Niekerk, who went on to play second with a new national record of 44.38 seconds. Merritt, who was ranked as the second fastest 400 meter runner in the world for that year, quickly walked over to Van Niekerk upon finishing his race and congratulated him on an excellent performance. This race was a huge turning point for Van Niekerk as he lowered his own personal best by half a second, but more importantly, it showcased his ability to compete with the world's best. On July 4th, 2015, Van Niekerk would now cement himself as the world's greatest 400 meter runner. At the Diamond League 400 meter dash in Paris, France, Van Niekerk would run a superb race, dipping below 44 seconds for the very first time, and also defeating Karani James of Grenada, who was the 2012 Olympic champion over the 400 meter distance. This race was executed with extreme maturity and absolute perfection, as James actually passed Van Niekerk just before the 200 meter mark. However, over the final 100 meters, Van Niekerk powered home with his incredible finishing speed. Even Van Niekerk himself was absolutely shocked at just how fast he ran, as he once again lowered his own personal best and broke the South African national record. Just 10 days later, Van Niekerk would again revisit the 200 meter distance, where he would incredibly run under 20 seconds for the very first time. In this race, Van Niekerk again found himself all the way out in lane 8, however that did not stop him from running a new personal best and also another South African national record. This performance made him one of only two athletes in history to run under 44 seconds for the 400 meters and also under 20 seconds for the 200 meters. 
The only athlete to have previously accomplished this feat was Michael Johnson, who, at the time, was the current world record holder over the 400 meter distance. The following month at the 2015 World Championships, Van Niekerk entered as the heavy favorite in the 400 meters. After a swift opening 200 meters from LaShawn Merritt out in lane eight, Van Niekerk once again used his superior closing speed to take home his first World Championship gold medal. With a finishing time of 43.48 seconds, Van Niekerk won his first World Championship gold, and he was now officially the fourth fastest 400 meter runner in history. On March 16, 2016, Van Niekerk would once again make history. At a small track meet in Valenia, Slovenia, Van Niekerk would run a 100 meter dash in 9.94 seconds, making him the first athlete in history to run under 10 seconds for the 100, under 20 seconds for the 200, and also under 44 for the 400 meters. This 100 meter dash performance was extremely unusual, as no other athlete in history had been able to do what Van Niekerk had just done. His strength in both the 200 and the 400 meters was well established, but now his raw sprinting speed rivaled the world's best. With the Olympic Games quickly approaching, Van Niekerk appeared almost untouchable over the 400 meters. But exactly how did he get to this point and what did his training look like? To better understand his training, let's take a look at his coach and mentor, Tanny Ans. Unlike most Olympic coaches, Ans is a 74-year-old with over two decades of coaching experience. After the London Olympics in 2012, Anz became Van Niekerk's full-time coach. According to Van Niekerk, Anz encouraged him to begin running the 400 meters instead of the 200, as injuries had severely affected his ability to prosper in the 200 meters. For his day-to-day -day training, Van Niekerk would train three times a day for six days out of the week. Typically, his morning workouts would include around two hours of gym work, his afternoon sessions would include around one to two hours of track work, and in the evenings, he would focus on form maintenance and balance training, which would include stretching, yoga, and also Pilates. In the gym, Van Niekerk frequently worked with dumbbells and also body weights. He also claimed to enjoy working with elasticity bands, which aid in strengthening weaker muscles that many athletes neglect. Van Niekerk also stated that it's very important to maintain a healthy body weight, so he intentionally avoided heavy weights that could potentially add on extra muscle. For his track workouts, Van Niekerk would primarily run on a grass track in Bloemfontein, South Africa. Here, he and Coach Anz worked on his start, his drive phase, and also his top speed. Various technique and form drills were also implemented for his workouts. This grass training is very different from most tracks as the majority of international athletes use synthetic tracks for training. And while no studies have proven that grass tracks are better than synthetic tracks, it is noteworthy that Van Niekerk rarely trains on synthetic tracks. Lastly, for his evening balance training, Van Niekerk incorporates a variety of different exercises. Through yoga, stretching, and also Pilates, he focused on controlled breathing and heightened stability to help achieve better running form. Above all else, Van Niekerk stated that it was very important to listen to his body. Some days he would need to change his exact training structure in order to improve on his weaknesses. And as the 2016 Olympic Games quickly approached, Van Niekerk appeared to have very little weaknesses and his confidence was at an all-time high. Heading into the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Van Niekerk was considered the absolute heavy favorite for the 400 meters. Not only was he ranked as the fastest 400 meter runner in the world up to that point, but his 100 and 200 meter performances were also amongst the world's best. After much anticipation, the men's 400 meter Olympic final had finally arrived. On August 14, 2016, Van Niekerk at long last towed the line in the Olympic Stadium. Contrary to most Olympic finals, Van Niekerk, who was the heavy favorite once again, was all the way out in lane eight. On paper, this was considered to be a huge disadvantage. However, Van Niekerk's focus and determination wouldn't allow anything to stand in his way. As the 400 meter final began, Van Niekerk shot out of the blocks and sprinted through his first 100 meters in 10.7 seconds. Stretching out down the back stretch, Van Niekerk ran his second 100 meters in a blistering 9.8 seconds, placing his 200 meter split at 20.5 seconds. This 200 meter split was well ahead of the previous world record of Michael Johnson, who split his 200 meters at 21.22 seconds. Coming around the track with 100 meters to go, 
Van Niekerk maintained his solid lead and passed through 300 meters in an impressive 31 seconds flat. At this point, it appeared that perhaps both Karani James of Grenada and LaShawn Merritt of the United States had a chance to catch Van Niekerk. But as the last 100 meters unfolded, Van Niekerk pulled away from everyone with superior speed. Dipping at the line, Van Niekerk completed his 400 meter race in a new world record time of 43.03 seconds. As far as world records go, this performance was quite unusual. Not only did Van Niekerk accomplish this all-time best all the way out from lane 8, but he became one of the very few athletes in history to ever run a 100 meter split during his race in under 10 seconds. This performance has now firmly stood as the world record for almost three years, and no athlete has even been within four tenths of a second since this historic performance. Indeed, Wade Van Niekerk's 400 meter world record is one of those special performances that happen only once in every generation, and who knows just how long it will last. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe for more running content, and we'll see you all in the next video.